yo, yo, Chicago Bulls fans, welcome back. We got another goofy analyst talking crazy about our Chicago Bulls. Tam Bontens has some comments going at Lonzo Ball and saying that the Chicago Bulls made a huge mistake by trading this player. Y'all already know how we got to do it. We got to talk about it. But first, y'all got to hear the goddamn music. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Bulls podcast with the Cognac boys. I'm Cognac boy Bobby, and I'm with my dog Steve Dub. How you doing, bro? I'm feeling good. I, I heard this uh ball head look. I buy no ball head, man. It was said something, man. What up, dog? Yeah, what do you say? Ten by tens, man. He going crazy. First and foremost, the man out here talking about the Chicago Bulls made a huge mistake by trading away Wendell Carter Jr. Wendell Carter Jr. for Nikola Vucevic, my guy. Go ahead. <laughs> Go oh, ahead. Look, bro, first of all, temp by temps, you, you should already be shutting your mouth what you say yeah, last year about uh, DeMar DeRozan now. What you say about uh, the Bulls making the playoffs last year, bro. You said we'll be not in the playoffs, not even in the play-in. You saying the same shit now. Now you saying that Wendell Carter Jr., and Nick, of, Nick, Nick Vooch would, was a bad trade for us. Actually, Vooch ain't played up to a uh, par, I think. But he is way beyond Wendell Carter Jr. now. Watch your mouth. You don't know what the hell you talking about. Stop trying to get clickbait, bro. Don't you know Nick Vooch averaged 17-11 last year? How much did this fool average? I don't even care. I don't even look. I don't even care what Wendell Carter Jr. averaged because it ain't for good because they ain't make the playoffs. So at any time, I'll make this trade 10 out of 10 times. Fuck, I mean, forget 10 bomb temps, bro. He don't know what the hell he's talking about. And I said for you, fuck 10 bomb temps. (laughs) But from out of his mouth, and quote, Wendell Carter is already better than Nikola Vucevic. So it's pretty much a disaster across the board. At minimum, you want to say they're the same level player. Vooch is going down, Wendell is going up, and Wendell is on a much better contract. Beyond that, at the time of the trade, Tim McManon was down on it. I was lukewarm on it, but McManon hit this one out of the park because this has been a disaster for the Bulls. This man. Let me tell you something. At the time, Wendell Carter Jr. was younger than Nikola Vucevic. So we might give him the age thing. But these are the numbers that Wendell Carter Jr. produced while with the Chicago Bulls. In the season, he was traded away, ladies and gentlemen. 36% from the three-point line. That's fine. He averaged about a little over 20 minutes a game. Gave you seven rebounds and 10 points. At the time, Nikola Vucevic, as the number one option, as a all-star, and the guy that took the Orlando Magic to the playoffs was doing 40% from the three, averaging, if we rounding off 12 rebounds and giving you 24 points. No comparison. Even if we viewing last season when he was over there with Mr. Magic City, don't get me no. started, goddamn. <laughs> How effective was Wendell Carter Jr.? If you ask me. Vooch is a better three-point shooter. Vooch has more of a a post-game skill than him. Vooch is a better rebounder than him. Vooch is a better passer than him. I don't think it has been a disaster. Has it been beautiful? No, it has not been beautiful. But what the hell did Wendell Carter do in a prove-it year when Billy Donovan first got there? Zero, zilch, nada. See, though, what you got to say about that? Oh, man, you just put it out plain and clear, man. And no faucet of the game, if no faucet of the game is uh, Wendell Carter Jr. better than Nick Vooch, except age. And that ain't amounting to nothing. You could be young and be better than the next man. The next man might be 35, you 20, 21. You could be better than the older man. But not in this case. 
Nick Vooch got him on the offensive side. Nick Vooch got nah, nah, you know, it ain't I think Wendell got him defensively, but not that much, not by that much. You know what I'm saying? So Nick Vooch, uh, just don't listen to Tim, man. Tim Tim just be saying stuff, bro. I think he just be in his he's smart. He's think he's smart. You know, he uh, analytical type player, type guy. You know what I'm saying? He go by all these little statistics and numbers, you know. He don't really watch the games, you know what I'm saying? I don't think. So he look at the – I'm going to say this. He look at the games different than real uh, basketball fans look at the game. He look at the games and all he see is numbers. We look at the games and we see entertainment, passion, and love on the court. Basic is that. So we can never understand his world and he'll never understand our world. So the next time this mar brings something up, man, just turn the page, flick the tab, do something else. Cause he he just talking from a he talking to a different community, because now that is a community, the analytical community. And that was coming on the precedence that it he was just on the show. He was commenting on the Chicago Bulls because Lonzo Ball is expected to miss the start of the season. He even say he went as far as saying that if Lonzo Ball misses a long stretch of games, Chicago can be outside of the top eight. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I get that the Eastern Conference is tough, but to say that we're going to be ninth or tenth, this man is on drugs. <laughs> ESPN go to go drug test this man because this man had lost his mind. And quote, even if Lonzo Ball is healthy, I think it's not assured they're a playoff team. So why the fuck would you even make a comment like that in the first place, my guy? You said this last year. You said that we was gonna be in the play in. Oh, we debunked that. The only then you backpedal and said we might lose in the first round. Okay, cool. You got that right. But before that, you were wrong, and I called you out on that shit. You probably never heard it, but a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube heard it from me. <laughs> Look at that, you flexing. For real. <laughs> you know, you, do you see 10 teams better than the Chicago Bulls in nah, the Eastern Conference? I ain't got to look, nah. For real. No. They ain't even got to ask that question. They ain't got to take that long, no. <laughs> For real. It come your game. Y'all let us know what y'all thinking, man. Because for somebody to, bruh. The, the, the Chicago Bears and the Chicago Bulls don't do shit to nobody. <laughs> don't do shit to nobody. Leave have, me alone. Bro, we don't have no players that come out and say anything outrageous. Most no. of our players, for the most part, are humble and hardworking. But some that. way, somehow, ESPN, Fox Sports, and all these other media outlets Mike Martz and all these other goofies who want to be back on the scene, they pop up and they say real stupid goofy shit like this. Like you can't, you can't, you came out of your mouth and said DeMar DeRozan was washed up as well. And what did DeMar DeRozan do to everybody in the league last year? Second team all in NBA. You know what I'm saying? So man, look, y'all let us know what y'all thinking, man. It's really is it's mind boggling, bro. Mind-boggling. Perfect word. To... You know what? It ain't even to the point where it's mind-boggling. It just is what he is, Joe. He just a little – he's a little turd, bro. He's a little – he's a jerk. You know what I'm saying? He only going by what's going to make people get get a rise out of people. Like, damn, you said that? You know, he trying to you trying to be like Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless 2.0. But it's only one Skip. That's my guy, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh, so, uh <laughs> – that's all it is. Pay him no man. Pay him no man. That's how he keep a job. He keeps saying shit. That's just, you know what I'm saying. For that's real. gonna rouse, gonna rouse people's emotions. That's what. That's how he keep a job. Pretty much, because then the man backtracked on his comments again and made an even more egregious comment by saying that no matter what, even if Lonzo Ball come back, the Bulls are in the playing. <laughs> so I'm gonna just absurd. leave it at that, bro. That's absurd, man. See, you you don't even you can't give him no respect for that. He pay him no mind. No, he's out. You, no, you, you're out. 
<laughs> that shit is crazy. But go You're ahead, going. give people your final yeah. thoughts, bro. Final, give people thoughts, your final thoughts. Hey, man, we real hoopers, man. We like to watch the game and let shit turn out, man. It's all about competition. It ain't about you don't win the championship by going off with some idiot, some nerd in the closet doing, you know what I'm saying, on a computer doing, saying stupid shit. You can't win a, a championship off the championship off that. You got to play the game. That's what I'm about. I'm about that action. I want to see that action. So forget that nerd. We on to the next. Well, you just called this man a nerd, but hey, yeah. come yeah, gang. Y'all let us know what y'all thinking. That do do y'all really think that the that the Vooch trade was a disaster? Granted, it was. It Vooch can be better, but yes. was it really a disaster? Is Wendell Carter Jr. better than Nikola Vucevic? Y'all let us know down below. And do y'all see the Chicago Bulls being outside of the play-in? That's crazy. Outside of the play-in? That's nice. That's Tim. Those are not my words. That's Tim. That's Tim Bon Tim's goddamn. Whatever the fuck his last name is. I can't even remember. <laughs> For real. But y'all know what to do, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and go ahead and catch us on the next. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah.